dear students, this program is the second part of the chapter measurement of length. Remember, in the first part, we talk about the importance of measuring length, the different units of length, the conversion between the different units of length, and we have also seen some word problems based on length. In today's program, we're going to see how we use the measurement of length to calculate perimeter of plane figures. First of all, let's see what is perimeter. Perimeter is the distance or length all around a two-dimensional shape or figure. By two-dimensional, we mean a figure which has length and width. For example, let's look at this board. If I measure the distance all around this board, I will have the perimeter of this board. Now, if I have a triangle, if the dimension of the triangle is 5 centimeter, 6 centimeter, and 7 centimeter, if I want to calculate the perimeter of this triangle, I will have to add all the three sides. So, perimeter equal to 5 centimeter, this 5 centimeter, then plus 6 centimeter, plus 7 centimeter. What is the answer? Yes, 18 centimeter. So, the perimeter of this figure is 18 centimeters. Now, let's have a look at more examples on perimeter of plane figures. Look at this rectangle. It has the dimensions 7, 3, 7, and 3. So, the perimeter of this rectangle is 3 plus 7 plus 3 plus 7 equal to 20 units. Remember, Perimeter is to add the length of all the sides. Let's have a look at a second example. This is called an L-shaped block. The perimeter here is, again, the distance all around the shape. So perimeter is 4 meters plus 4 meters plus 11 meters plus 3 plus 15 plus 7 equal to 44 meters. Before moving further in this chapter, let me ask you a question. Can you think about where perimeter is used in the real life? Just think about the playground of your school. Suppose you run all around the playground. If I ask you, what is the distance you covered? The distance you covered all around your playground is the perimeter of the playground. So this is an application of perimeter in the real life. Now, let's have a look at some word problems based on perimeter. A man wants to fence his rectangular garden, which is 15 meters long and 8 meters wide. Find the minimum length of fencing he needs to buy. So, the garden is rectangular. It has a length of 15 meters, a width of 8 meters. If he wants to fence the whole of the garden, he will have to measure all around the garden. Measuring all around the garden is the perimeter. So, the minimum length of fencing he needs to buy is the perimeter of the garden. The perimeter is 15 meters plus 8 meters plus 15 meters plus 8 meters, which is equal to 46 meters. Now, let's look at a second example. An athlete runs thrice all around the truck shown below. Every day in the month of November, Find the distance he covered in 
kilometers. So this is a truck. The truck has dimensions 120 meters, 150 meters, and 215 meters. And the question it is said that that lead run thrice all round the truck. So here is the truck. So the athlete will run all around this truck. That is, when making one turn is same as the perimeter of the truck equal to 120 meter plus 150 meter plus 215 meters. Yes, calculate the perimeter. The perimeter is 485 meters. That is, the athlete runs 485 meters when he makes one turn of the truck. So, in the question, you are told that the athlete runs thrice the truck. You have multiplied by three, you obtain 1,455 meters. But you are also told that the athlete runs every day in the month of November. So how many days are there in November? Yes, 30 days. So the total distance covered will be, for one day it's 1,455 meters multiplied by 30 equal to 43,650 meters. You were also asked to give the answer in kilometers. Now remember, conversion between the various units of length. To convert meter into kilometers, we need to divide by 1,000. Okay, so you can perform the division to obtain the answer in kilometers. Okay, do it. The answer is 43.65 kilometers. So let's look at another example based on perimeter. A wire is bent into a rectangular shape with length 1.25 meters and width 75 centimeters. If the same wire is now bent into a square shape, what will be the length of the square? So first we have the rectangle with length 1.25 meters. The width is 75 centimeters. But we cannot work with different units at the same time. So here you will see that I have converted 1.25 meters into 125 centimeters. The perimeter of this rectangle is 125 centimeters plus 75 centimeters plus 125 centimeters and 75 centimeters. Remember, perimeter is adding all the sides. The perimeter here is 400 centimeters. Now, this wire is bent to form a square. The same wire. So, the perimeter of this rectangle must be equal to the perimeter of this square. But a square has four equal sides. The perimeter of the square is 400 centimeters. Since we have four equal sides, the length of one side will be 400 divided by 4, which is equal to 100 centimeters. So, the length of this square is 100 centimeters. Now, 100 centimeters, you know that it is equal to 1 meter. Hence, the length of this square is 1 meters. Now, let me give you some more exercises for practice. Calculate the perimeter of the following shapes. Then we have some word problems. which you can work out with the help of your teacher or parent. Let's summarize what we have done in today's program. 
Today, we have learned how to calculate parameter of plane figures, how to deal with problems based on parameter, and lastly, we have learned how to work out parameter when we have different units. So this program ends here. This is the second part of the chapter measurement of length. I shall see you again for the third and last part of this chapter measurement of length very soon. Till then, goodbye.